Boys. Jesus. Yeah, gold is over. I don't think we can mine today. I don't think so either. I mean, you can if you want, but I'm not. <laughs> see, you in here. see you later, dog. <laughs> you have to convert all your equipment to snow removal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, gentlemen, that only leaves us with one option today. We continue on with the excavator. Agreed? Absolutely. We can't go mining? No mining. No, you can. You can. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. I didn't bring a parka. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the excavator. Lyle, what's up? How's it going, man? Hey, RC athletes in the house. Only temporarily, though. Yeah, you I may, gotta go. You I'm, got, on, I'm on call, so I have to be in the city of Calgary at noon. Well, we better get building then if we want to see some progress. So, guys may have missed in the last episode of, like, the absolute last episode of YouTube Gold Season 2, we were working on the excavator. Uh, I had the base done in the last video, and we also started working on the hydraulics and floor plate. Sluicebox Steve had done a darn good job mounting this up with Rook, yeah? This mostly is sluice. Mostly sluice, I would agree. I don't know, the rook held lots. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Crazy Joe is not here today. We were thinking of KJ. He's off uh, freezing his butt off doing a different job today. Uh, he actually had put the teeth and the bucket together. Uh, but we might as well get fired up and move on to the next part. So a quick look at this. Joe and I basically assembled the front part. I had painted everything here glued it all down except for the important part on the back. And Rookie is doing that now. Well, that's where you keep your beer and stuff when you're running. So <laughs> it is kind of important. Everybody's so bent out of shape every time they see us drinking beer on the mine site, eh? Saying right. that we shouldn't be uh, operating heavy duty equipment. I think it's ironic that you're calling other people bent out of shape. I, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling better today though. You can't, you can't mine without beer. It's one of those well, things. especially when the machine is so small. You, what, you got two hands, right? Exactly. And so here is the piping for all the hydraulic lines. You can see I went in. Crazy Joe and I were working on this last week, but man, am I ever glad that I had videoed undoing these screws <laughs> because getting all of these lines back together like that was almost impossible. And then I did get my Cobelco stickers, but look at this. They're not actually uh, decals. In fact, these are the older style. You'd get them wet, and then you'd slide them off onto here. So if it rains, what's going to happen? <laughs> I haven't seen water transfer decals in in a very long time since I was a kid building models. Exactly. That's the last time I used those. I'll have to get some other ones made, but for now, at least they look good. Until it says Koblula. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it outside right now. Kobe! What are you saying? The window just lays in this groove. They don't actually screw in? No. See, so this one did. Yeah. It was held in with fasteners. Yeah. The front window was held in with fasteners. Yes. On this little steel plate. And then the other the one just kind of kinda glue in. There, yeah. So I need some glue that's not going to turn them white. Yes. I don't like using CA glue for mm -hmm. clear plastics. It is kind of a I guess I could put some sort of clear tape over that or uh, paint it, but I'm worried if I painted it, it might kind of cause it to crack. I you would know do what a I mean? test piece before you sprayed the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, it still looks pretty good though. Okay, Lyle, how long have you been in the RC hobby? Seven years. Seven years, and what was your first radio control hobby product? Slash 4x4, right when it came out there. Rookie. Do you remember, sir, the first time you and I met? Uh, out at uh, Jimbury, at Jim's place, so towards Drumheller, yeah. Yes, and was that the day we were doing the 25, jump, 25 yeah. foot jumps with, with the Losi? Yeah, Losi 5. <laughs> yeah. And I had my, uh, my old Red Cat XBE. That's right. off the skateboard ramp. Have, have, we, awesome. have we ever seen a low C5 ever jump that high ever again? No, I never have. I don't, it's I don't either. Don't, want to don't throw their $2,000 truck 25 hey. feet in the air. Hey, that, <laughs> I remember that was my first day of, of the guys were like, you got, you should just like launch the low C5, right? <laughs> Everyone around me. You totally did too, you rocked that. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, might as well let her rip. And, and I can't believe. at the end of the day. Yeah, the beatings it yeah. took, like jump after jump. And I didn't land perfectly on the ramp. No. <laughs> Definitely some. I had one solid landing. Yeah. 
a little tiny bump yep. on the far side of the ramp and you just... Just, I couldn't even perfect. see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So for those that missed uh, that last episode where we were putting the base together, Sluicebox had put in the uh, pump. You guys, if you guys have never seen it before, this is one of the smaller uh, hydraulic pumps you can have where a small outrunner motor actually runs a small uh, a pump in there that helps pump the fluid through. They're controlled by servos, which aren't installed yet, but there's a three uh, block servo here. Uh, and this would be an oil cooler. So a lot of times you have expansion with your oil in the tank. Uh, and if you have too much, you can have her overflow. But at least this is, it looks like a cooler, hey? Functional That's cooler. absolutely a functional with, cooler. With yeah. a fan tiny on. radiator. Yeah, exactly. You can see these tiny doors, the way they flip out. They actually have a magnet on the inside here that fits into a small receiving spot. Really well thought out design here. Sluice Box was just saying to me, he's surprised at how close this radiator is to this door here. Show me the door that's probably gonna be the radiator door. It's definitely got breather slats on the side. And then Rookie's installing the interior right now. What are you saying about a fan on the door? This is going to hide at the back of the cab and it'll help circulate air right through. No way. The whole place. I'll keep the driver going. Right back here. Yeah, goes fits in this recess. Air conditioning for the cab. I, yeah. I like that. Well, it's for the beer fridge. <laughs> it's the only way you're going to keep it cold. <laughs> Sluice working away here. He's got it right there. Fan on the back of the door. Ooh. Of course, Lyle across the table is starting to work on the very small hinges. Uh, my eyes are still good, but my fingers aren't the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> and those are so small. S super small bolts. They're not actually screws. They're small bolts that you have to yeah, do. The little tiny scale hardware. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I gotta put those in there. And then, of course, Rookie getting in with the super detailed cab. All the controls going in. We getting there. Yeah. You know I'm going to ask you, what was the first one you built, do you remember? Well, ever? do you count any Radio Shack or Tyco? Or sure, Tyco yeah, sure. What was your first RC? Radio Shack Red Arrow. Yeah, and oh, wow, my really? My first RC was a Radio Shack Golden Arrow, but it wasn't a kit, right? It just it was an RTR, yeah. yeah. It went through hubs like crazy. Was the Golden Arrow an uh, IndyCar, or what was it? No, it was a, it was a buggy also, two-wheel wow. drive buggy. And, yeah. and so mine was a Radio have, Shack Nico. I still have yeah. mine, and it works. Black yeah, buggy. The, just the Radio Shack from the old, old, uh, the little Kuntash. Yeah, what Indoor did you say? Only. I think you just got me demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> just that, uh... Okay, Lyle. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's okay, I, yeah, I want to ask you a question, man. Actually, You're actually using this tool. A lot of people have been commenting in this video that, or in past videos, that we should be using a drill. Oh, God. A small drill for this. Why, why wouldn't we use a small drill for uh, No these? threads left. You would have no threads left oh, right away. Yeah, there's, there's no way you can feel uh, how, how torquey that's going to be on these very small screws. Oh, yeah. And, of course, Rookie installing the back fan. Move your thumb there, Rook, when you can. Yeah, there it is. Just making his job more difficult by using less hands. Rookie's <laughs> a mechanic. Air conditioning for the driver. Is having people watch him while he works. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, mechanics love that. <laughs> these little accessories that always make the difference on machines, hey? Oh, yeah. The fact that you have to do all bolts, too, and that they're not screws. I like that, because then it's metal on metal. Yeah. A lot of times when you do it in a build and you get small thread screws and you screw it into plastic, you're like, oh, this is going to go more poorly. Exactly. That's coming together nicely. Yeah, it's just they made that out of metal. What? Well, the exhaust? The exhaust. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Exhaust has to be metal or it'll melt. <laughs> Here is where Good the hydraulic point. tank is. Threads in. We're trying to figure out what this one's for now. Okay, so these are going to be the servo horns that help open and close the hydraulic valves. And the servos, the servos are supplied with this kit, just in case anybody missed that in the other videos. Now, these aren't centered on here, of course. I haven't screwed them down because I'm not <coughs> gonna wanna have these uh, on when I plug them in initially, because I'm gonna have to center the servos and I can make sure the valves are in the proper neutral position. 
This is a crowning moment. Oh, that fits nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, that does look very nice. Good job, screws? Rook. <clears throat> Two by five button heads. How do we get in there? <laughs> I actually had to bolt that door handle on. Like that's a separate piece with bolts. Wow! <laughs> Attention to detail. What's the need? Two by what? Lyle, thanks for coming by. See you later, buddy. See you guys. Appreciate you coming by, sharing some stories. <laughs> he wasn't really doing anything anyway. Yeah, well, he was taking up space. How many bolts to hold the cab on? Eight in total. Eight of them. Yeah, little tiny guys underneath. And they all lined up perfect. I'm kind of amazed every time that happens. Yeah, I'm also surprised that we haven't had any uh, fitment no issues. issues. No, nothing yet. That's okay, so ESC time. Guys, these say 320 amp. Bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. But these are the same ones that work in the Rock Crusher, yes? Yes. They look and identical. They do work, they're fine, but they're not 320 amps. No, I wouldn't say 32 so. 32 amps. Maybe 32 amps. Maybe 32. Okay, so I'm going to be using a Quick Run 10BL120 uh, ESC. You can see it here. This is going to be uh, for the brushless outrunner for the pump. Rookie trying to work his magic here. Just trying to come up with a plan to sort the wires before we get this bolted in so they're all pinched and jammed and cut. Yeah. That's, That's the last thing you out. want is to have a bolt going through a wire. You'll have a rogue short. You won't figure it out until you take everything apart. Yeah. Like that. Well done. She sits flat. So all the wires appear to be free. Introducing the counterweight where it's going to actually be bolting yeah, on. So we need the brackets. Yep, we need the brackets. This was in there. So as you can see, what's going to happen the is the whole the side of this, the on either side, side, are going to be a series of doors that you can open. So now he's got both doors just, attached to the back weight. Just trying not to hang on to the doors. <laughs> <laughs> you try not to grab the little stuff. This guy is going to go like. You can hear the weight of it. Can you hold that sluice? Yep, got it. Yep, thank you. Good nice. job. Cool. Want to make sure they didn't get folded in before it got bolted on or something. So we've had to run the wires straight up through the slough area. And then now we're just figuring out exactly how it bolts on. Got a little extra Loctite off to the side that we'll clean up. We'll wipe that up in a moment. Oh, now we get to mount up the motor, I bet. So we can turn it. loop. Yeah. Oh, that's plenty of Loctite. <laughs> yeah, I saw that squish out when you... <laughs> They're down. That's what she said. <laughs> that is finally starting to look like a hoe. Good job. She's pretty. Yep. There we go. So doors on the side. Pop open on either side. Easy access. This is something I like yeah. over our older yeah. RC four wheel RC4 drive wheel ones. Drives. This one you can open the door, you can access everything. That is insane. So much nicer. Yeah. Wow. So ESCs up here, underneath. all of them. Uh, so, what, so what's uh, sitting up that's here? That's probably where your battery's going to sit. Because uh, you need some place for a battery. Very, very nice. Nope, nope. out of blue. Use we what got you got. Red gel. Hold on, need the glasses. That doesn't bother me, guys, because the amount of abuse that these uh, excavators this... go through, I'm happy to have red in there. That's yeah. They have red for a reason, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sluice, we got too many hands. <laughs> yeah. If there was YouTube Gold, we'd have everybody's hands in here, right? Everybody. <laughs> Sweet. I'm just. Lately. I know. I'm excited to see it actually rotate. You know what I mean? Like, that's ex this whole thing. Like, we're all questioning the size of this motor and gearbox in here, Sluice. You've also wondered that, too. Eh? It seems small, but it does have a big gear reduction on it. There's so a lot of gear reduction. Pretty, pretty powerful. Which tells me it should be a lot smoother. It should have less slop. Yes, like, yes. That's another thing we... You can already tell that's so much tighter. And I don't even have the screws all, like, in or tight. 
Yeah, that is a good point. We, we can see it there now. That's mu much Very less than what slow. we had. Oh, though. the RC four-wheel drives. I mean, they've been a great, a well, great tool for us, but they have like two inches of lock. Yeah. It's a very hard, loose design. Hard to control. That's the older version too. I don't, I've never tried yes, the newer version. I haven't versions. tried the 360 either. Okay, so right now Rook is uh, lubing up the pins, putting in the first hydraulic ram on the arm after we put the two inserts in. It did have to bore out the holes a little bit just because there was some paint there. And same on the smaller arm here where I've got the two inserts ready to go. Having a little bit of issue with that pin because it's in the it's starting to jam up against the uh, hydraulic. brass hydraulic line. Okay. So we've loosened off the screw that's that holds it in place, but as you can see, it's secured all the way down in a very specific manner. Oh, there we go! Uh, yeah, rookie to the rescue, brother. Sweet. All those years of mechanics finally paid off on miniature RC. Thank you. It's <laughs> still mechanical. Yep. Uh huh. So I do have some double-sided tape I can use for the windows. I'm just gonna have to be very specific on how I cut it out for around the frame. Look at how these are made, hey Rook. What do you think they of are, the quality of these? That's art. They're, it is. They're beautiful. They really the way they do. bolt together and everything. So, so no to. leaking points except maybe at the very end where you can uh, Eventually the O-rings will on always them. leak. Yeah, exactly. Like, nothing you can do about it. Seepage. <laughs> it happens with age. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> the two guys laughing. Not me. <laughs> See, this is how you know you got good buds. When you got a hurt back and they come over to still help you make a kick-ass show. <laughs> oh, there is two more. Two more yeah. in the package. Yeah, we can already use that. Oh, this is more. Yeah. Until you pick them up and you see the, the mm -hmm. shoulder. Mm -hmm. I can put the collar on the end. I don't see any C-clips, though. Uh, there's going to have to be some somewhere. Okay, Sluice, it's a little uh, more yellow than I anticipated. Yeah, what's the yellow? Is that just the tape? It's the tape. It's the color of the tape. I think it's going to be fine, though, because I got it all the way around. It doesn't look too sloppy. I'm still looking for that little brass piece that's in there. Okay, so Sluice is pointing out at the moment, and I notice this around, like... Rookie's putting these back on after painting, but putting the hose on and then the uh, collar afterwards is going to be awfully tight where we're going to have to remove these we again yeah. yeah, to put the hoses back on. But just for aesthetic purposes and to get it looking basically where it should be until the point I have to put on those uh, hoses, everything's perfect and functioning. Yeah. Looking good, boys. For all the keeners that are out there, I missed uh, painting that one arm there. I'm gonna have to take that off and redo it. Is that the right size? Right but next, just kind of guesstimate your length there, Sluice. It's okay. A few little tweaks here and there won't matter. Need a bunch of pins and bushings, Sluice. Some Z33s. Okay, well, yep, we need everything on that page. So. Everything been Loctited on the bucket. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, lots, lots Joe gave as, as much Loctite as we did on the center <laughs> slough. But those pieces actually go through quite a bit of um, quite a bit of abuse as it's digging through the rocks and whatever, right? So I don't mind seeing extra Loctite on it. Jeez. What do you think of the Rams being unpainted, gentlemen? I like it. I like it. Yeah? It's kind, kind of that steampunk sort of look. Yeah, it was a bit of a risk. I know we'll have different people saying things differently in the comments. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like all together. And then we'll have a, a more d definitive idea. <laughs> well, a lot of prep work to paint those anyway. They, oh, yeah. It took they, days and days and layers and layers, man. I, I mean of the rams because they're going to have hydraulic fluid on them already. Yep. So they, that all needs to be stripped and cleaned. Yep. I need uh, two more bronze bushings. It only needs to move like a little There you go. Stature. There you go. Trying that to get it in. Yeah. Yeah, 
I'll need a, a tiny bit of a squeeze loose, same idea. So are you having trouble aligning the pins now? Is that the um, issue? No, the pins are aligned. It's just these tabs on the bucket are spread just a little. Yeah. So this collar has to drop into a groove on that pin. Aha. Uh -huh. You just can't quite see. Everybody holding their breath. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Scared me. A little bit of damage to the paint. We, uh, oh, you're getting in too far in there, so this. But at the same time, it is a bucket. It's going to get scratched up anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, the first use, it's going to dig into some hard dirt. When I bought my skid steer off the lot, it already had rust on it <laughs> from transport on the chains. Well there done. We well That's done. Beautiful. Well done. There. I got my new arm. That is crazy. <laughs> wow. Which one? Find me a pin. There, that's the way. One of these guys? Uh, a lock-in one? Look at the book. Yes, it's that style, Sluice. That's the one. From your side, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Give me some lube, please. With Come no, on, lube. with with no, with no beer, no Joe, no beer, and you guys are talking about lube way more than you should be. <laughs> you gotta lube your shots, so. man. <laughs> I'm loving the brass look. I think it looks incredible. Yeah, it's gonna be really looking good out on the yard. I can't wait to be the first one to use it. <laughs> With all the building, I guess so, <laughs> hey? Brooks uh, doing all the Like work any on. good hoe, everybody just, should uh, have their turn. Okay. No, it's good. Yes, thank you. Somebody finally gets a beer in the house. <laughs> you guys have deserved this long before this. I've been concentrating too hard. Yes, exactly. So little parts. Yeah. It's definitely a part. You can see now how much goes into a build like this. As long as you have beer in the fridge, you can talk your friends yep. into coming over and doing it for you <laughs> while you film them. <laughs> the people are going to see the video and it's going to be like 25 minutes long and they're going to be, yeah. that's it. They'll, no, it's an easy kit. It's yeah. like six hours, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just figuring it out, getting through, yeah. using lots of small parts. Tons, like... Yeah, and, and, a, and a, I know, well, people don't even understand that this is just like, what, remember this? That's what you're saying, it's like, like a dime bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a dime bag. <laughs> it's hard to believe there's 84 volts in that little bag. Exactly. Come on, Sluice. Good Lord. We already had to <laughs> file the inside just so we can get these bushings in there. Come on, Sluice. I'm never going to get that in there. <laughs> get the pin in there. Where's the pin? There you go. That's pin we're using? Pin goes in you the keep giving side. me dry dry shafts. Give me a lube shaft. Oh my god. I thought my fingers were greasy enough for that. I know. <laughs> nice. Okay. There. The huge wow, arm. A long, long arm. Yeah. And I need one more of those straps loose. Oh yeah. The last one. The last strap. Just out of here. I'll let you find the page. Finally getting it lined up. We're getting there. Yeah, it looks fantastic, guys. Thank you for all the effort so far. We gotta see it done now. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem though. Like realistically, there is still so much oh, to do. There's, there's a lot. Yep. People won't understand. It's like, why aren't you done? Because there's about another hundred hours to go. <laughs> That's why. Is it another hundred hours? So the inserts go on either the side. Yep. And yeah, those ones that you were wondering about, Sluice, are standoffs for up here for the rams. So we're going to need both the rams as well. Which ones are standoffs? These guys. These are oh, your standoffs are. for the rams, yeah. Ooh, a lot of paint on there. Yep. I wanted to make sure it was strong. <laughs> Did you leave that room? <laughs> <laughs> that part doesn't need to be on the outside. So you need it 
<laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, that's tight. Yeah. Pretty tight. Okay, here is our first fitment issue that we've run into, and it's a doozy. Right where the pin is supposed to slide into the ram, the two holes don't actually line up on either side, and it's a frame part. It's that original large superstructure mount. Superstructure mount, exactly. So everything is bolted to it. So trying to drill it out is not going to be an option because we'd have to remove everything at this moment. Okay, Sluice, what's the plan? I'm just going to put a really tiny taper right on the end of this because it's so blunt and it doesn't quite line up. So if we put a little taper on it, we might be able to just be able to squeeze it in. Smart. Dude, we tested it off camera and? Yeah, it works. Yes, yep, good squeeze, job. Squeeze together. Just needed that slate taper. Doing it by hand too, not with the grinder. Okay, so now both of the rams are attached to the superstructure and the arm is ready to be placed. Such a huge amount of work just to get to this point, guys. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but also a ton of fun as well. If you like building, this is a fantastic thing. Yep, I would agree. I can't see where the hole is there, Rick. Dry fitting in that bushing before it came in No, it's just, uh, just my aim, Sluice. Oh, a little out of practice. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. There you that go. That felt good, eh? Just needed the magic touch. <laughs> I helped. <laughs> there it is. Oh, not quite. We've got to hook these up. Yeah, very cool. There, Give these guys a nice look at everything, all the hard work you guys did today. We did do a lot of work. You did. Tons. I was just the mechanics nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Double. <laughs> wow. Clean lines. Mostly everything went together. The only real problem spot was here, but just all those two pins. Yeah, you just you gave it a bit of a is is the proper term chamfered the end? Yes. Yes. That would be a chamfer. Yeah, got it through, got those pins through. A little bit of damage on the paint, but nothing a normal excavator wouldn't see anyway. Here's the doors. That is so cool, it's got a radiator. <laughs> it's super cool. This side is just as beautiful all the way down to the cab. Here I can see, it's very odd that these mirrors are on an angle like this. You can't adjust them at all. Normally I'd be nor seeing like an adjustable mirror, but not a big deal. It's not like I'm actually sitting inside this beautiful interior. I like the scale accessories, the different painted color for the pedals. Right through to these doors on this side so I can access all the electronics and ESC. And of course, more on that to come. Well, gentlemen, it was a long day of building. It was a long day. Yeah? Uh, for, for everybody, it just went by in, in a heartbeat. They're all wanting more and more and more right now. Sure. Life doesn't go that fast. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we started a long time ago. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Now, all the lines aren't run, of course, right? Well, we still have hours and hours. Still have a lot of electronics to do. Much more work to do. Yeah. All the electronics have to be hooked up. All the lines have to be hooked up. But everything that. is pretty close. Pop that back on there. She's, uh, she's looking like an excavator for sure. Look at that. Now it's up to everybody in the comment section down below to let me know. What do you think about the Rams and the color combo? Guys, what do you think? I think it looks fantastic. I really like, I like it. like it. Yeah, it's going to pop out on the, uh, on the mine site for sure, hey? Or forever we want to use this. Loading Wars coming up pretty soon, hey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody excited for Loading Wars? Let us yeah. know. Smash that like button, guys. Thank you for driving in today all this way to help us make another show for these guys about the excavator, yeah? Thanks for letting us work on the excavator. <laughs> Sorry I brought the snow with me, buddy. <laughs> what else are we supposed to do when it's blowing like that, hey? Until next time, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you in the next RC adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>